Ohio Fire Commissioner was brutally beaten with a metal pipe. Friends and family say Don Carmignani suffered serious injuries and remains in the hospital. It's yet another violent crime in the city. KTV's Brooks DeRose joins us live from the Marina District where this all went down. Brooks. Well, Greg, this attack happened right here on this very street and the nearby sidewalk. And neighbors say several good Samaritans rushed to Carmignani's aid after he was hit over the head several times. His family tells me late today that he had skull surgery to relieve pressure, but he still has a long road to recovery. With a metal pipe in hand, neighbors say what played out in San Francisco's Marina District Wednesday evening was ugly. A 53-year-old severely slashed, attacked, and hit over the head. Neighbors say it was at the hands of a homeless man. Identify the victim as Don Carmignani, a former San Francisco fire commissioner. He suffered a fractured skull, broken jaw, and lots of lacerations to his face and head, says his good friend Joe Aliota Veronese. Don's a big guy. He's a big guy, and what it says to me is that um, this kind of thing can happen to anybody. Nobody is safe in San Francisco right now. It's the latest violent attack in the city, sparking questions over police staffing and resources. This is what's really happening. I've been here 21 years. This didn't used to happen. I believe it's a direct result of the fact that we do not have enough officers on our street. Neighbors here say a group often camps near Laguna and Magnolia Streets. They're, uh, you know, always on the sidewalk surrounded by a, a pile of trash, you know, folded over, smoking drugs. Friends say Carmignani showed up to his mother's place after they refused to move. Soon they picked up and put down near the corner laundromat. Carmignani confronted them, and that, they say, is what provoked the brutal beating. Uh, when Don came, he asked them to leave, and, uh, and uh, he was uh, blindsided by a metal pipe to the head. He's now in the hospital where he underwent surgery and has dozens of stitches, but expected to survive. He's a fighter. He really is a fighter. Police arrested 24-year-old Garrett Doty, charged with assault and battery. It makes me want to move to another city. I don't, I mean, it's no way to live in fear all the time. Doty is in jail on those felony charges. He's scheduled to be arraigned on Monday. Live in San Francisco's Marina District, Brooks DeRose, KTVU Fox 2 News. Yeah, Brooks, I know you spoke to the family about the road to recovery for Mr. Carmen Yanni. What else did they tell you about their feelings in this process? Well, one of the things they said is they really want to remain private, but that they have seen a lot of sort of shady activity they describe happening in this neighborhood. And it's very worrisome to a lot of the neighbors here. And they feel that not enough is being done. And they said yesterday or the other day when this happened, uh, they had someone come by here and confront uh, a police officer, confront some of these homeless people. They just picked up and moved down the street. So they want to see more uh, laws put in place where they can have more recourse. Yeah, similar concerns from many folks in the city this afternoon. Brooks Rose live in the City Force tonight. Brooks, thank you.